What's up? This is Casey from Casey's Customs. This video, we are going to do a ton of work to the rear of this 65 Mustang. Let's go! So, I actually cut the rear frame rails off of the 65 Mustang. These are the rear cross member, and then these are the frame rails, and your bumpers actually go here. You can actually buy these, I found out, but these are okay. I just need to cut them out because I obviously don't need this whole piece anymore. So, I'm going to go in here, cut these here and here, and then... They will go right there. We'll probably have to do some trimming so they fit. And uh, once that's on there, I should be able to go ahead and mount my rear bumper. And then we will try and mount the rear pan. I think I have to either take the muffler off or cut the muffler off. And then we're going to have to do something about this because the spare tire sits down too much compared to where my pan is going to be. So we need to fix that too. But for now, let's get these frame rails cut. Also, I'm currently in a suit and a tie uh, while I'm working on this Mustang. Don't worry, it's for another video that'll make sense later. So if you see me cutting and you're going, is he in a suit? I am, it's an Armani suit, but don't worry about it, I got work to do. <laughs> yeah. So I just realized my rear bumper does not have the brackets. I thought it did, but it doesn't, it's just the outside. So I need to order those. So we're going to go ahead and move to the, I don't even know what it's called, rear apron, I guess. We're going to go ahead and deal with that. I got to do some grinding and then I don't know what I'm, I don't know what all I got to cut off yet, but I know I got to cut off something. So let's get it up there and see what it looks like. Okay, so this lower valence goes way up in here. I could technically cut all that out, but I don't really want to. I mean, I kind of like how much structure I have right there. So I think what I'm gonna do is I just might bring this down a little bit. And whenever we put the new quarter panels on, I'll just make it go to it. So instead of this being so sharp, it'll just be kind of down like that. I'm probably gonna wait on doing anything else until my bumper brackets get in. I should have them in two or three days, it said. So we'll just put a pin in this for now. So I ended up getting this rear panel to fit a little bit better. It was kind of wonky. My taillight holes weren't lining up how I wanted them to. So I spent some time, got that fitted. I still am not going to weld any of this because I don't have a trunk lid yet. The trunks are on back order. I need to find a used one. I went ahead and still got it fitting a little bit better. I think I'm going to go ahead and put these rear quarter panel extensions on and any other parts I have, I'm going to go ahead and assemble it. My bumper brackets will be here tomorrow. Whenever the bumper brackets are in here, I can go ahead and finish putting in the rear apron. I moved the muffler down a little bit so I can cut that more if I need to, but I'm gonna wait until I get the all the rest of the bumper parts to go crazy. But I think I'm gonna go ahead and get these installed while I have them. I was gonna put the tail light bezels in, and I don't think I'm gonna bother doing that yet, but I am gonna put those quarter panel extensions in. I wanna see how they look. And then uh, we'll probably just put a pin in it until tomorrow. Let's see how those things go on. They're brand new from the wonderful people at Holly. So. I'm excited. I've never actually seen new ones. That quarter panel is hammered. Check it out. Ooh, I like it. Starting to look like something. Yeah, I'm at a good stopping point. Plus, I got shit to do at the other shop, so... I'll check in tomorrow, baby. The next day. So we're starting off the day with great news. I got my bumper brackets and the hardware so we can get that mounted. Also, I found a trunk lid here locally. The guy's going to meet me up at the gas station. It's not great, but it's original and I can line up my quarter panels and I can also line up this back piece with a trunk. Unfortunately, the Holly Scott Drake one is back ordered for like three or four months or whatever it is. So I need one now. That way I can make sure all this stuff is in line, lined up good, looking okay. So let's we'll hop in the truck and go grab that real quick. And then we will uh, get back to work. No, you're fine. I feel horrible. I feel bad because they are kind of both brownish. Yeah, that's but yeah, I was like, still... okay, the brown one. Yeah, yeah, they both look brown. They're both baby shit brown. Yeah. Sorry, man. That's all good. Yeah. So uh, I just got back, and this guy, first off, he lives like 25 miles away or whatever it is. And 
he had two trunks for sale, one that was like folded in half, and then one that basically had like little hail dents. I said, I need the one with the hail dents, obviously, because I'm just trying to line up my quarter panels and you know my back apron and all that. And one was gold and one was brown. I told him in the messages, I said, I'll take the brown one. And he said, okay, no problem. Well, he showed up with the gold one. And he said, well, they're kind of both brown. And I said, well, I, I didn't need the one that was folded in half. I don't know why anybody would ever need it. So I don't know how much of that is gonna be shown on the GoPro. But I told him, I said, I still need the other one. I'm sorry. I obviously can't use this one. I mean, I don't even know why he's trying to sell it. It was really bad. It looked like it was in a rear collision and like the sides were folded. But uh, hopefully he can go and switch them out today because I'd really like to continue working on that. I don't want to try and, you know, get that next week or whatever. So we'll see how that plans out. But that was very upsetting because I was really excited to get the trunk. But hopefully he'll message me and we'll just run back up there in a couple hours. But for now... Let's go ahead and get these bumpers installed, or let's get these bumper brackets in, and then we can go ahead and install the bumper. I don't know if I said it in the video or not, so I'll say it again. The reason I wanna get the bumper installed is because the frame actually bolts to the bumper or gets welded to the bumper. It bolts there, and then this would be welded, you know, to the 65 frame. Well, I wanna weld that now to my modern frame. So I don't know where to put these. I mean, I can kind of guess, but I'd rather have it exact. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these bolted in and then I know where everything's gonna be and then we'll go ahead and get a good weld on these on both sides. So that's why I needed the bumper so bad. It has mounting holes, but anybody that's ever installed new parts, sometimes that can just be all over the place. There is variance in the bodies when they were brand new. So after 70 years, there's definitely some variance in there. So let's see if we can get it bolted up and then weld it. If I should fall, just go ahead, go and catch me, baby. Oh, yeah! Man, that looks good. New chrome is scary in this shop. I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm a little nervous, but uh, looks good. Still gotta get these welded. You can see they still have a little bit of give in them. Not much, actually, now that I think about it. But we'll go ahead and get those welded. That'll tie that in. And then I think I'm gonna work on that lower pan. I think I can cut some more out of my trunk area, try and get that lower pan fitted. And then whenever it's fit, I'm gonna come in here and start reinforcing this back panel. I think I'm gonna go square tubing from one side. But, uh, for now, let's get it welded. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, we got a little sidetracked. I'm trying to squish the trunk up a little bit and there's nothing really to tie it in. So then I was like, oh, I'll just put a square piece of square tubing in, no big deal. I'll put another brace in. Two hours later, we're all, we're all doing this. The good news is, I think I got all that tucked up enough where the rear panel can actually go on there normal. I don't know yet though. I still have some more bracing to do, but yeah, figured I'd uh, take a pep. <laughs> I figured I'd take a stop, have a little pep talk, show you what's going on. Back to the time lapse. So a lot of you don't know this about me. I'm kind of stupid. And uh, I went ahead and put all this together. Was really excited. I was gonna get the bottom apron put on right there. And I realized all of that bolts to and welds to the quarter panels. Well, I have new quarter panels that I'm gonna be putting on. I almost welded that to the bad quarter panels that have to get cut off. And so I was like, oh, I'll just, you know, I'll just put the new quarter panels on. That has to come off, that has to come off, that has to come off. So I'm gonna spend the next 30 minutes taking this all apart so we can cut the old quarter panels off and put the new ones on, then bolt it all back up and then hopefully weld the lower panel in. I'm an idiot, I, it's just, I'm just stupid. So yeah, let's do that. Also, I'd like to add, you can kind of get cute with your quarter panels if they're good, like if you, you know, you, they're just rusted around the wheel or whatever, you can kind of get cute and cut right there and then, you know, butt your quarter panel up and then weld it to that seam. Unfortunately, the bottoms of mine are just completely rotted out. So I'm actually going to, you know, use all of this where it overlaps and it'll rebolt in. So I got to take all that apart. I'm not excited about it, but I wasn't even trying to do the quarter panels this video, but we're going to go ahead and do it because we need to. So, uh, yeah, let's do that. Let's 
So you want to build a rusty old car, huh? Ooh, good times. Yeah, buddy. These are really good for trunk access. I kind of like these access panels in these new cars. <laughs> Shit. So there is a million different ways to skin a cat, and there is a million different ways to put quarter panels on a car. I'm doing this a little bit different than I would do if I was metal finishing this or if it was for a customer. I'm actually leaving this top for now. The reason I'm doing that is because I'm probably going to slide my quarter panels over to fix some of the width in the rear. I don't know. I might end up doing flares. I'm not 100% sure yet. But for now, I'm going to leave these here. It's going to kind of help me line everything up. It's going to help me with structure. Did the same thing all the way around. Kind of left the front too. What I didn't leave was the back because the back was all shitty and rusty, so I didn't need it. So I cut these the same on both sides. And uh, now we're going to fit the new quarters up there. Check it out. Got it on there looking good. I put a big old dent in it when I dropped it, but that's fine. Uh, I'm just going with sheet metal screws for now because I still want to, just in case, the trunk will change something. It shouldn't at this point, but you never know. So we're just going to go with that. Probably still weld the bottom because if I had to, I can move stuff. I can still get that bottom panel welded, but I've got all these bolt holes lined up where they need to be, which is awesome. I'm tripping on shit. It uh, looks really good going down there. I'm still going to have to move my wheel wells a little bit. I knew that going in, but whenever I cut it out, I can pull it too a little bit. It's hard to do one-handed, but I can kind of pull it out a little bit. I think I'm going to do like a proper, you know, flare, but I don't know yet. That kind of leaves me some, some room for what I'm going to do. I could technically pull this whole quarter panel out to kind of make up for it, but I don't know what I'm doing yet. I'm just happy this looks really good. I'm going to get the other side done, and then we can bolt all that shit back on there, and then get that bottom panel done, and basically the rear is, is pretty much taken care of for now. But uh, yeah, I still have to do everything I just did here, which took about an hour and a half on that side. <laughs> Two hours later. Got the other side on, very excited. This looks really good back here. Now we get to start all over, bolt everything back up, bumper, quarter panel extensions, all that good stuff. And then we will be able to fit this damn rear apron that started this whole mess. Uh, this guy with the trunk, he brought me the wrong trunk this morning and it's been like six or seven hours. I just asked him, hey, what's going on? He said, oh, I don't know if it's gonna work. So he might be flaking out completely, which is very upsetting because uh, I really wanted to put a trunk on there just to make sure everything was good. If it was good, I can go ahead and weld all this. But for now, I'm not going to just in case. But uh, yeah, let's get all this shit bolted back up. So I got the rear panel on and I got about a half inch gap on each side and I don't love it. So I think I'm going to cut this in half and widen it. Technically I can push my quarter panels in, but I don't want to because I like the way they look. So uh, I don't care if it's wider. We, we're doing flares and all that stuff anyway. The only problem is I got the license plate bracket and I don't want to widen it. So I might pop the license plate back it off, cut it and then put it back on. Let's cut it up, see what happens. that big old fat ass she's got man i really can't wait for my parts to get in i got airbags coming i got fender flares coming we got a wide body kit all kinds of fun stuff but 
Just gotta wait on them. But right now, she ain't sitting too bad. <laughs> it looks so freaking good. That lower apron widened. It just looks good. It kind of gives it a little extra meat back there. It looks awesome. I got some three inch fender flares coming. They're metal. I'm gonna have to probably modify the hell out of them, but those are really gonna kick this up another notch. I'm very excited. I got some more parts coming, but I mean, look how good that looks. I'm getting really, really excited about this build. It's gonna be a ton of fun. Hopefully we find a trunk lid. That's the only reason I'm not welding these quarter panels right now, because I wanna wait for that trunk. I probably said that three times in this video, so I apologize, but thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff they tell you at the end of videos, and check out some of my other videos. Peace, love ya.